gaze into the night sky. Throughout human history, we've been captivated by the vast expanse of stars above us. Each glimmering light has sparked wonder, ignited curiosity, and fueled our quest to understand our place in the universe. For millennia, we've pondered, are we alone in the cosmos? This question has resonated through ancient tales, scientific inquiries, and the dreams of every era. From early astronomers charting the stars to today's scientists exploring the skies, the search for cosmic companionship has driven our imagination and technological advancements. Now, this question transitions from myth to reality. We stand at the dawn of a new era, where the line between speculation and discovery fades before our eyes. On August 15, 2025, a subtle flicker from Proxima b, our closest stellar neighbor, hints at something remarkable. This delicate signal, barely discernible against the cosmic backdrop, has captured the attention of the world's leading minds. This is not science fiction. It's the fruit of our unyielding curiosity and cutting-edge technology. Decades of innovation, collaboration, and determination have brought us to this pivotal moment. Our instruments are now sensitive enough to detect the faintest signs of life across the vastness of space. We've observed an artificial glow, suggesting a civilization. The pattern of lights defies any natural phenomenon we know, indicating the presence of intelligent life shaping its world as we do ours. This discovery redefines our place in the cosmos. It challenges everything we believed about life, existence, and our own significance. The realization that we are not alone is both humbling and exhilarating. The night side of Proxima b is a glow, more vibrant than ever. These lights pulse and shimmer, a silent message across the void, inviting us to imagine the beings who might have created them. After centuries of searching for a sign, city lights on another world answer us. The evidence is undeniable, a beacon from another civilization echoing our own journey into the night. The implications ripple through our culture and science, compelling us to reconsider our existence. Philosophers, artists, and scientists alike are grappling with the meaning of this moment, as humanity stands on the brink of a new chapter. We are no longer alone. The universe is alive, and we've glimpsed another participant in its story. Our cosmic solitude has ended, replaced by the thrilling possibility of interstellar connection. The journey to understand this flicker has just begun. As we prepare to reach out across the stars, we embark on the greatest adventure in human history, seeking to know our neighbors in the vast, mysterious universe. To see across space, you need a special eye. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is our window to this discovery. It's a marvel of engineering, collecting faint light from distant corners of the cosmos. Optimized for infrared, it pierces cosmic dust, revealing secrets of the universe. Positioned at the second Lagrange point, it stays incredibly cold, crucial for detecting faint signals. This sensitivity allowed us to pick up the glow from Proxima b. The JWST is a testament to human ingenuity, pushing the boundaries of knowledge. It represents a collective dream to explore and answer the biggest questions. Now, it shows us we may not be alone. Just beyond the reach of our solar system lies Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our sun. Orbiting this faint red dwarf is Proxima b, a planet that has captured the imagination of astronomers and dreamers alike. Proxima b is not just another distant world, it's our nearest cosmic neighbor, a tantalizing target in the vastness of space. Although Proxima b is a staggering 25 trillion miles away, over four light years, it's practically in our cosmic backyard when compared to the unimaginable distances between most stars. If we could travel at the speed of our fastest spacecraft, it would still take thousands of years to reach it, yet it remains the most accessible exoplanet for future exploration. This relative proximity makes Proxima b incredibly special. It's a world we can observe with our most powerful telescopes, allowing us to gather detailed information about its atmosphere, surface, and potential for life. Every new discovery brings us closer to understanding what it might be like to stand on its surface. Proxima b is a rocky planet, slightly more massive than Earth, and it orbits within the habitable zone of its star, the region where temperatures could allow liquid water to exist. 
This raises the exciting possibility that Proxima b might have conditions suitable for life as we know it. Its host star, Proxima Centauri, is a red dwarf, much cooler and dimmer than our sun. This means Proxima b receives less energy, creating a very different environment from Earth's, with long dim days and a reddish sky. The planet is likely tidally locked, meaning one side always faces the star, while the other remains in perpetual darkness. This creates extreme conditions, with scorching heat on one side and freezing cold on the other. Yet, there may be a narrow twilight zone, a band between the light and dark sides, where temperatures are just right. Here, life could potentially thrive, sheltered from the harshest extremes. Intriguingly, recent observations have detected what appear to be city-like lights on the planet's permanent night side. If these lights are truly artificial, they could be evidence of advanced technology, perhaps even a civilization adapting to the planet's unique environment by illuminating their world where the star never rises. However, Proxima Centauri is an active star, frequently unleashing powerful flares that could strip away atmospheres and threaten any potential life. These flares pose significant challenges, but the possibility of life, especially intelligent life, remains a subject of intense scientific debate. With the James Webb Space Telescope now peering deeper into Proxima b's secrets, the debate over its habitability has only intensified. New data sparks fresh questions and fuels the search for answers. Proxima b has become a leading candidate in the search for extraterrestrial civilizations, inspiring both scientific inquiry and the human imagination. The discovery of Proxima b reignites our quest to understand our place in the universe, reminding us that even in the vast emptiness of space, there may be neighbors waiting to be found. How does JWST see city lights on a distant planet? It's scientific deduction. We detect a specific light signature, not detailed maps. JWST analyzes starlight filtering through Proxima b's atmosphere and its night side's faint light. Scientists look for light that doesn't match natural phenomena. The light detected is persistent, resembling artificial lighting like LEDs. JWST's long-term monitoring revealed a dramatic 270% increase in this light. This surge suggests dynamic activity, possibly a power grid or coordinated system. Other possibilities were ruled out. The light doesn't match natural sources. The only explanation is an intelligent, energy-consuming civilization. This discovery moves from intriguing to world-changing. We are witnessing activity on another world. A 270% increase in city lights is significant. On Earth, it would indicate a massive event. Could it be natural or artificial on Proxima b? Natural explanations face challenges. The light is concentrated in fixed locations. The spectrum doesn't match known bioluminescence. The artificial hypothesis is compelling, suggesting rapid expansion or a response to an event. It could be a celebration, defense measure, or sign of conflict. Each possibility raises questions about this civilization. The surge is a puzzle, and we must gather more data to solve it. Let's wonder about life on Proxima b. Tidally locked to a red dwarf, it has stark contrasts. On the night side, cities glow without natural day. Society evolved without sunrise and sunset, with unique biology and culture. Cities might be enclosed structures, protecting from cold and radiation. Light could shine from within or connect population centers. Proximans might have mastered energy on a grand scale. Their culture reflects their environment, with myths of the great star and eternal night. The light surge suggests a dynamic civilization, akin to ancient Rome or the Industrial Revolution. We are watching a society in action, inviting us to imagine a different path for intelligence. The discovery of city lights on Proxima b is nothing short of revolutionary. For the first time in human history, we have evidence, however faint, that we are not alone in the universe. The faint glow, captured from light years away, hints at the presence of a civilization capable of illuminating its world, just as we do on Earth. This revelation acts as a mirror to humanity, reflecting our own journey from darkness to light. When we look at our planet from space, the web of city lights tells a story of progress, ingenuity, and the collective spirit of our species. The knowledge that another world shines in the night shatters our sense of cosmic solitude.
It challenges the long-held belief that Earth is unique and forces us to confront the reality that we may share the galaxy with other intelligent beings. This discovery compels us to reevaluate our place in the cosmos. We are no longer just observers. We are participants in a much larger story, one that stretches across the stars. Now, we know we are one of at least two intelligent species in our corner of the Milky Way. The vast distances between us suddenly feel a little smaller and the universe a little more familiar. This realization has the power to unite humanity as never before. The knowledge that we are not alone could transcend borders, dissolve old disputes, and inspire a sense of shared destiny among all people. It connects every person on Earth, reminding us that our differences are small compared to what we share. The discovery encourages global cooperation as we face the future together with a renewed sense of purpose and responsibility. Our light, once just a symbol of human achievement, now becomes a beacon to the cosmos. It signals our presence to the universe, inviting others to notice us and perhaps to reach out in return. With this new awareness, we must carefully consider our cosmic footprint. Every action we take, every signal we send, becomes part of our story in the universe. We must act with wisdom, humility, and foresight. This is ultimately a story of hope, a hope that life is not a rare accident, but a common thread woven throughout the cosmos. The discovery of city lights on another world shows us that life, and perhaps even civilization, is not a fluke. It is a possibility that may be realized again and again wherever conditions are right. The universe may be teeming with life, each world with its own story, its own struggles, and its own triumphs. We are just beginning to listen. For so long the silence of the cosmos seemed absolute. But perhaps that silence was only due to the vast distances between us and the limitations of our technology. Now the silence is broken. A faint signal, a glimmer of light, has bridged the gap between worlds. We have illuminated our future, casting our hopes and dreams into the stars. The universe is no longer a dark, empty void, but a place of possibility and connection. With this discovery, we have a new purpose, to explore, to understand, and to reach out across the cosmic ocean. Our journey has just begun. The time has come to connect with life in the cosmos and to embrace our role as citizens of a much larger universe. This discovery is a beginning, not an end. Scientists must observe Proxima b with unprecedented focus. We need to track the light surge and search for patterns. Beyond watching lights, we'll analyze Proxima b's atmosphere for biosignatures. We'll also search for technosignatures, signs of technology. Finding both would confirm a living, building civilization. The discovery accelerates future technology development. It incentivizes funding for next-gen space telescopes. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence broadens, focusing on light. The journey will be long, requiring patience and collaboration. We've taken the first step, ready to listen to the cosmic conversation.